Hello, my name's Dr. Mike Heaney. I'm a head and neck surgeon here at the Mayo Clinic in Arizona. And I wanted to introduce you to transoral robotic surgery. I, together with my colleagues here, have a keen interest in cancers of the throat. We are seeing a veritable epidemic of new throat cancers uh, throughout the Western world. Oftentimes, these cancers are treated with radiotherapy and or chemotherapy and radiotherapy. I fervently believe that patients should be offered all treatment options. Historically, the surgical options require some disfigurement. For example, incisions on the neck that extend through the lip and may require the surgeon to cut the jaw or open the patient from the outside. Since 1996, we have been performing transoral surgery for the primary tumor uh, in the upper aerodigestive tract or throat. Since 2006, the use of the surgical robot has further facilitated our ability to approach these cancers through the mouth. Today, patients are treated with the microscope, with laryngoscopes, with endoscopes, various wavelengths of laser, as well as the surgical robot, and sometimes all of those technologies are merged for a particular situation. Patients will still need to have an incision on the neck to remove lymph nodes when it's necessary. But about half the time, patients that have this type of surgery can avoid radiation entirely. And this is really a, a nice adjunct. Patients can expect an operation with little blood loss that can last as long as five or six hours. Often it's shorter. The hospital stay is only about three or four days and that's less than half of what it would be with the traditional surgical approach. The nurses comment that the patients have less pain. So on balance uh, I think it's worth considering transoral surgery from an experienced surgical team should you have a need for uh, uh, care for your head and neck cancer. If you would like more information about this, you can visit our website. Thank you.